done for your company types and your action items? Perfect. We'll go over to your administrator first. Okay. And we're going to go to, you know, you'll pick your corporate division. You want to start with the regular one? Okay. And you're going to go to company types. So here's your company types, and here's the button where it says credit hold default. Uh-huh. So you're going to click which ones you want to be credit hold default. Okay. So, yeah, it's really going to be any of these that are options. So when I have to save here? Yeah. All right. Was that one of them, yes? Yes. Okay. So, after each one, and is there a way we can select them all and then do that? No, it's just one by one. Okay, sorry. Okay, that one's already saved. There we Prospect. Was this one or no? So, okay. yeah, and I'll do that, so. And once we check these off, we'll go into your action items and um, go through and set the credit hold on those as well, on the action items to where people can't submit one with okay. a credit hold on it. Huh. I don't think they're going to buy from us anyway. Okay. I think we got them. Okay, so now we'll go over to um, your action items. So go to tools. Okay. I think the only action item that shouldn't be set to one is the one where they check for a credit hold. That's this one, top one, yeah. That's this very top one, the account application request? Right. Okay, so everything else should be set with do not allow submission if on credit hold. Okay. And that I don't need to save. I can just check, right? Is it? I think we do have to save that one as well. Let's just let me go back and look at it really quick. Yeah, it is the save button. So here and then the save button right here. Okay. Oops. It's not checked. It, yeah, it wasn't checked. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's not checked. <laughs> I was trying to chew gum at the same time. <laughs> that's why. That's not, yeah, that's not going to work.
Okay. I think we're good there. Okay, you want to do the last two? Yes, that's... Okay. Okay. So now we can go back over into eManage. You can just pick a company to open up. Uh, pick one that has a project on it. Pick one that has a project on it? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. So, but I'm opening the company, right? Yeah, we can, you can do it through there. That's fine. You can just go ahead and then we'll open it. Here, so go here. Okay. We can just go through here. That's fine. So on credit hole, here's the button. Okay. And only the people who have um, the right to invoice, and we, we sent it out what the, the whole right is, the right to invoice and something else, can come in here and do this. OK. OK. OK, so now let's see. We'll try to submit an action item. OK. For this project? Yeah. Okay, actions. Yeah. So it can't even, oh, there it is. Maybe we need to reopen it because those are supposed to be grayed out. We're open this project. Okay. Hold on one second. Let's hit the save button here really quick. Oh. Okay. And then we'll try to submit one on the project. So it'll pop up with this credit hold notification? Yep. Ah, uh, good. And so it looks like I missed a couple there, huh? Yeah. So those are the only ones that aren't marked that are in your or action items that aren't marked um, for the credit hold. Sure. And they can't even click on these and open them. They won't do anything. Yeah, awesome. That's perfect. I'll go back in and fix those. Okay, and if you take it, if you want, we can take that off. I'll show you. Take it off credit hold, and we'll save it. Okay. We'll go back in and do it again, and it'll let us do it. And now awesome. they're all available. That's great. Very flexible. That's very good. So you're going to have to do that for both of the um, corporate divisions. Okay. 